apart from social integration. When inmates leave the James Camp prison, they are also empowered economically to start their own businesses. So the facility is doing this through the various vocational training the inmates receive while serving their sentences in the near home facility. Grace Amwa Asari visited the camp and has more. One of the many hurdles inmates have to deal with when they are discharged is stigmatization. It gets worse when they have to depend on friends and family for livelihoods. Here at the James Camp Prison, authorities train inmates in batik tie and dye, dressmaking, carpentry, shoemaking, masonry, and bead making. The first batch that we had, they were about 15. And they are all, they've all passed out there. They are being discharged and they are using it. Okay. And then we had another badge too. Normally here is a transfer. Mm. When they come, then we use them to teach them. Mm. So the second badge was also 10. They've also gone on discharge and they are all using it. The third badge and this is the fifth badge. Most of the inmates have perfected the craft. We sold uh, uniforms the inmates uniforms and even we get out the, from outside yes as uh, last year we saw about three and something pieces of the security uniforms yeah that's the contract yeah even the school uniform too we take others even your dress we can sew for you if they have their handwork something do i said they will involve in those things that's why we want to train them so if they go to the outsider the society will know that we are training them they won't go in for the buttons then they have something to do assistant director of police rafael Kwesi tuekwe believes giving the inmates such training would help empower them economically all about giving employable skills to these inmates so that they can become useful to society when they go out. Finished products of the inmates are displayed at the market square for public purchasing. Entrepreneurship is a key aspect in shaping the country's economy and these inmates do not want to be left out. Authorities say they are determined not only to transform the inmates but also ensure that whilst they are here they acquire a skill so that when they get out they can be able to become independent for themselves as well as for their society. Well, this is good news because it is also add on to government industrialization drive and even serve as a starting point for that move. Grace Hamwa Asari, TV3 News, James Camp Prison, Accra.